Mic check one two. Mic check one two. Mic check one two. A little bit loud. Let me. Oh, and it turned down. All right. Well, guys, the mic is in a different spot for the um for this portion of the podcast. Uh, as you can see, that's not me on the screen. That's a box. And uh, I believe there's uh, 52 CUs here in this box. So uh, but as you can see there, I'm going to be. Um, so shout out to everybody that's here. Uh, let's see here. Paul G. What's up to the member? Paul G. What's happening there, brother? Uh, let's see here. We got JS. He just says, yo. And shout out to uh, Vidra. How you doing, brother? How are you? I uh, certainly hope you guys are uh, enjoying a sweltering. He's in my state. I just walked outside to the pool and um, it is sweltering outside. OK, I mean, literally, it's 10 o'clock in the morning on the East Coast, as you can see. And uh, so I'm going to be doing a unboxing. And uh, that's that's what you see here is my. Um, Oh, let me see here. Hopefully, uh, there we go. Got a delay there. My Amazon box, you see, it's got that ridiculous looking symbol on it. And what I'm going to do is be unboxing this uh, this joystick here in a minute. So, uh, but uh, shout out to everybody that's here. I uh, also want to give a big shout out to uh, King Thrash and uh, Draco Rex and uh, to the rest of the round table for the uh, interview that I that I did the other day. Uh, go check out King Thrash's channel. We did that on Wednesday. That would have been June, July 1st. We uh, opened up July with the, the Xbox ambassador himself, the Messiah, and uh, was, was on the hot seat. Uh, I didn't think it was that hot of a seat, but uh, they asked some pretty good questions. And um, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, but as we see here, as you just, I'm, uh, of course, my computer, I'm waiting to get my motherboard. As you all know, uh, it's absolutely, it's an absolute frustrating pain in the, you know, what waiting on the motherboard. So, um, but, uh, I went ahead and got this joystick instead. And, uh, so this is a step up from what I had. I had the, um, Thrustmaster, uh, Hodus stick and, um, that that was bought through a do donation, but since the person that made the donation was moist as hell, uh, I took the flight stick back, and uh, I had no idea how to refund the money. So uh, the money went towards uh, the GPU that I do have, as you all have seen. It. So uh, so uh, uh, I've provided receipts. So, um, but yeah, so we'll give a shout out here to Mega Devo and uh, Raul God 981. Mr. Raul God, uh, you're you're part of Marlin Gaming Nation. Uh, go ahead and do yourself a favor and uh, go ahead and join the Xbox Ambassadors Nation if you don't mind. Go check out those perks, everybody. Uh, let's see here, True Virgil, how are you doing? So now I'm back on coach. Yeah, I, I decided to uh, let me let me uh, hook up King Thrash here. Uh, a deal's a deal. <sighs> a deal is a deal. And as you can see right here, um, I went ahead and got me a 15 pack of Coca Cola. Uh, because if they hadn't done that interview, I was gonna switch to uh, Pepsi. <laughs> ah. Mm. And let me tell you, it's hot as the dickens outside. Very uncomfortable, very humid, very humid. So, um, but yeah, shout out to you, Sam Ash. What's going on? Um, yeah, what else? What else is here? Oh, Phaedra Socrates. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. How are you doing? So, <laughs> so the credit card is tripping. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, that's fine, man. As long as you keep me in your thoughts, you know, keep the channel going, man. Like I said, we got three tiers, and with the, we got a basic tier. We got a um, we have an above top secret tier. I, I renamed it, and we have the majestic tier. Still waiting on somebody to get into that majestic tier. We need at least five people in the majestic tier. So, uh, yeah, he said it's ninety five in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's eighty seven here, and the humidity. 
is already at 76%. So it's going to be stifling hot outside. So it's miserable outside. So, uh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and start with the unboxing here, as you can see down there on the um, on the screen. We're also going to be talking about dirt being 120 FPS on a PS5, according to the developer. We'll pull up that article. And um, I can't see what else I've got there. Okay. And uh, PS5 pre-orders. Hopefully you all have signed up for that. There's a rumor I, I will be talking because we're getting closer to uh, when that is allegedly supposed to happen. I happen to be off that day. So uh, if I can, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can pre-order it if it does happen. And then uh, Sony buying studios. I'm sure you all have heard about this, how um, they they plan on buying a, a studio that, that a, a studio that publishes. Okay. So uh, but we'll go ahead and get it going here. Uh, somebody said it was 108 in Louisiana. But see, you all got those hurricanes down there. I went to Louisiana uh, for a Mardi Gras, and I drank something called a Hurricane, and uh, it's the it tasted like Sprite and and cherry Kool Aid. I was trash after like two and a half cups of that. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm starting the process here now. This is uh, I bought this the other day on Amazon, uh, and it 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 got to me Thursday, and I'm unboxing it in front of you now. As you all can see, um, ah, man, oh, very nice, very nice. So uh, let me put this down over here, and ta-da, check it out. Hope you all can see it. So I got the Extreme Logic 3D Pro. Stream Logic 3D Pro. So um, you all can see it right there. This is much more precision in my flight sim games. So uh, you can see here, I've got a bunch of programmable buttons here. I don't know if you all can see the top of it. Okay, yeah, see the top of it here. I'm gonna turn it. You know, I'm waiting for the screen to catch up. All right, you can see all the program programmable buttons up on the top there. That little black knob in the center. See if I can kind of make that a little bit better picture there. Uh, but um, yeah, there we go. There we go. So the black button that that's going to be my that's your hat, that's your hat that you you move around your on your computer with. Uh, the four buttons on the side there. The first the first two buttons on the left at the top. Uh, th those are all uh, what you would call uh, program. Those are programmable keys. I can I can quick link that to something in the jet. Uh, the little button over here on the side, this gray button here, that's going to be the missile select button. I can tell you that right now. That's in a perfect spot. But uh, see right here, it's got to place the rest. Your thumb. I don't know what these numbers are down here. And I believe this button here is to help control the thrust. This is the HOTUS, hands-on throttle, HOTUS. And um, so uh, this is the part right here. But this this is a $40 stick, uh, which is a major step up from the piece of, from the trash I had. I mean, I had a piece of trash stick. So, uh, <laughs> oh, what's up, BitCloud? Yeah, I was working yesterday. That's why I couldn't make it. Uh, and uh, BitCloud, uh, with the new format for a little bit, went on camera. So uh, shout out to everybody that was there. I think Carlos was there. And uh, White Zaddy himself, Mike, was there from the platform. I believe Meds was, Meds was there. So uh, that, I like that. I like that format, BitCloud. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, there we go. Let me. Shout out to Jay Barr. He looks like he's playing Halo Reach. That's my favorite Halo. But uh, but yeah, I wanted to unbox this for you guys. And so uh, you can see, you know, even the even the blind chicken gets the worm every once in a while. But this, if you are starting to play on flight sims and stuff, and this will work on the Microsoft flight sim as well. Of course, not, these will still be mouseable. These will still be programmable keys, quick hot keys that I can do things within the plane. I did put a video on Twitter. Shout out to uh, Obsidian Ant. 
Uh, he's got a real nice uh, video. Yeah, Big Cloud, I'll be there on the 10th. I work every other uh, Friday and every other Saturday. So like today, with the um, Marlin Gaming Nation, I'll be able to get on that today, okay? So um, I can hang out, hang out with you guys on that today. So uh, of course, if we cam up, because I'm going to go have my eyes dilated, I'll probably have shades on if we all cam up. So, um, but uh, I've got my little bitty Logitech. I, you know, the Logitech stick matches my Logitech camera. <laughs> but my Logitech camera, as you can see, is like 480p. So I'm going to get a 1080p one here, here in a few weeks, but um, I'm still waiting on my motherboard. So, mm. uh, uh, well, Jay Barr is, uh, I believe he likes Halo Reach. I do too. Halo Reach is my, um, Halo Reach is my favorite Halo. I like, I've liked all the Halos, but Reach by far is my favorite. Halo 2 is my least favorite. Uh, but Reach for me was just, I had a blast. And that an ODST. See, I think the I think Halo ODST for me personally, that was that that was a ripoff. That was supposed to be DLC. And they converted it and made it a $29 game. The game was trash. So yeah, Jay Barry's a gamer. So, you know, and not every game on Xbox is trash. What's up, Savage Lobo? Hmm. Ah. So, but, um, so yeah, I'll be getting Ghost of Tsushima. I planned on going to go and put that. Now, Ghost of Tsushima, what, that comes out when? The 17th, right? So, uh, yeah, next Monday, uh, I plan on going to put my five on it. Actually, I'll do that on Wednesday. I would have done it today, but it's just too, it's too damn hot to go up to the store. So. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys this. Hopefully, it's, so when you see me on my flight sim, probably later on today, um, it'll be me just trying to learn how to use the stick. So um, let me put this down over here, and uh, we can say rest in peace to my old one. Everybody, uh, hit the F button <laughs> for this guy. And if anybody wants it, I'll, I'll sell this to you for ten bucks. So. Uh, I've got a box here. I can ship it to you, but you'll have to pay for shipping. But uh, this is a basic flight stick. If you want to play like Elite Dangerous or something like that, it's got some buttons at the top. Um, this was my missile select button here. Here's the hat that was that's uh, that you use. But here's the missile select button. Here is the firing button for the missile, and then here's your gun button here. So. You know, you always have to tell your plane's weapon system what um, what system you're going to use for either the the gun or the or anything like that. So, uh, but yeah, so that's what I'll be doing today, and I'll be probably jumping in the pool later on when I come back from the, getting my eyes dilated here. So let me go ahead and sit down. As you can see, this is Streamyards, aka the the bootleg windows hang out. I'm now putting the mic back over here. You're going to come and pick it up at the house? Well, I'll meet you down the street at a, at a restaurant. But you ain't coming to my house. <laughs> so, But yeah, that's a good stick. I just wanted to step up and uh, get a little something else. So, uh, But shout out to everybody here. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, to, to die for. Oh, to die for. Price sounds compelling. <laughs> Is there a button to drop off some games to the Xbox community? No, there's not. So, um, but who was here? Is he BitCloud's here? He's not a member yet, but shout out to BitCloud. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, so it is out on the 17th. Yeah, I'll be getting it. So uh, who's watching Xbox July event? You're not. I mean, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to watch it. There's no reason. I'm not buying it. I, I will buy a. I watched the one in August. Allegedly, the rumor is that Lockhart will be in August, shown in August, which is fine. Which is fine. I don't. Uh, August is my birthday month, so bring it on. You know, if they say Lockhart will be available first. I mean, there's another rumor going around that um, Lockhart is going to be available in in uh, September. 
So uh have to wait and see. But yeah. What's up, Eric Kane774? Hmm. Hmm. Ah. That is not a beer this morning because I do have to go to the grocery store and go to the doctor. So when is the event? The again, the rumor is nothing official from Microsoft. The rumor is is like July 23rd right now. That's the that's a rumor though. Don't go to the bank with that. That's just a rumor. So uh again, and again, they, they're supposed to show some of their, their first party games. And uh so and the big news on Halo that I, I was told was that. They Halo is actually going to be optimized for Series S and for Series X, so it, it will not be compromised at all. The rest of these games, and, and shout out to Optimus Code. If you if you want to listen to Optimus Code, go watch a uh, Crossfire. So shout out to uh, Mooch and them. They had Optimus Code on there yesterday, and uh, he made some legitimate points about. Uh, how the games are going to be compromised. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, if you have, like, I love what he said. He he was like, look, if if it doesn't matter what you got. All right, so let's make a, make a all right, um, let's make an example here. So BitCloud Gaming, I believe, has a 1070. I, don't, I think he has a 1070 Ti. So let's say the 1070 Ti can put 4 million triangles on the screen. Okay, let's just say it's capable of doing that. And um, so you, I go out today and buy a 1060, and it can put 2.8 million triangles on the screen. It, it won't matter. It, 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 that's it. It won't matter what else happens because even, and even though, let's just say the game that we're playing is the golf game that BitCloud was streaming the other day. It's going to look better on BitCloud's uh, st uh, screen because he's got more assets to deploy. I just really hope people understand that. And something else Optimus Code said, and I'm going to steal this line because I thought it was perfect. And he said it to Xbox 448. He said that there is there is a general misconception that people think because they have a more powerful GPU that everything's going to be better. And that's not the only thing a GPU can do. GPU, it, it, it's it, it's prime as it a primary, then it's got a lot of secondary or sub processes, and um, a, a lot of people are going to be in for a shock. You know what I'm saying? So, but again, this is a great podcast. You guys can go listen to it. Uh, Optimus Cole, he he retired from the talk from the talk circuit. He, he went back. Last night for one more round. So, <laughs> yeah, I agree, BitCloud. It's just that, um, hmm, um, you know, the ten, yeah, his 1070 is a sniper white. Yeah, it's a nice looking graphics card, but I, I bet BitCloud paid about seven hundred dollars for it. So, up, oh, Bennett, Bennett Botchway, how you doing? Um, let's see here. This is the next. Sony event is in August. No, there's no, again, there's no confirmation from Sony that there's another event in August, okay? So, oh, it's your birthday, Rollo. Happy birthday, brother. July 4th is your birthday. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. So BitCloud paid $600. So what, I, what, what I'm also going to do today is I know there's a lot of you all that's in angst that there's going to be games at 30 frames per second. So we, and I can tell you right now, Assassin's Creed Valhalla allegedly on something that calls itself 2080 Ti, um, it allegedly, Assassin's Creed Valhalla allegedly it has, it's having trouble running on a 28 to hit 60. So, I mean, again, that's, what, that's what's been reported. You know, don't shoot the messenger. That is literally what's been reported. So, um, Let's see here. Yeah, see, I, I want a, I, I now want a 2080, but I, I'm going to have to start a dono fund for, for a 2070 or 2080. I do want one now. I didn't want one yesterday. I didn't want one day before yesterday. I woke up this morning and said, I want a 2080, you know, but I can't afford it, right? But I, but a brother's been busting his hump to get his credit good, and I do have a credit card on the way. And I may go Lincoln Clay on people and go into the store and be like, I want this. Ah, 
But I may, but I am gonna get a new motherboard, probably one of the better ones that glows. But I'll I'll get it in a couple days. So so all right. So Rollins and his birthday's at the end of the month. All right. Well, mine is in August. So so um, Saturday afternoon. All right. So it's uh, in the afternoon where you are. All right. That's cool. That is cool. Uh, let's see here, Big Cloud. You're in August too. So are are you a Leo or a Virgo, Big Cloud? You don't have to give the date out. Just um, if you're a Virgo, that means you're born after the 22nd. Ah. So uh, Corey Massey said he's done trying to educate people about games. The gaming community has shown. But, well, yeah, I mean, again, that's what Optimus Code said, is that he thought there was just a baseline misunderstanding. But he now sees that there's a, you know, he, you know, he said on Twitter, he sees, yeah, there's a people actually do have a bias, and these guys do not want to accept that games are going to be downgraded on the on the Lockhart. And they are. I mean, it's uh, but he is right. The downgrade, if you want to look at it like that, the downgrade actually happens before the game even hits the box. I mean, it's already been downgraded. So you're going on the thirtieth. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so um. But look, let's just say if you have an, if I have an Xbox S, okay, and I go out and buy Forza 4, Forza 4 on the Xbox S is 1080p 60 frames a second. It's optimized to run at 1080p 60 frames a second, okay? If you go out and let's just say uh, Mega Devo says, I've got an Xbox X. So he can get the same game, okay? And he will have a 1080p 60 mode, but he'll also have a 4K 30 mode, okay? That means the version of the game that I got, even though it's optimized for the Xbox S, is downgraded. I can't play it 4K 30. That's a downgrade, okay? So it doesn't, so, so I don't understand that. It, I always compared it to, um, now, let me tell you what a downgrade is not. Let's look at The Last of Us Part Two. There are scenes in The Last of Us Part Two that don't look like the demo that they showed at E3. I, was that 2017? The infamous Kiss E3, I think. I can't, was it 16? Was it 17 or 18? It was something like that. Okay. So they may have turned down some of the graphics on that, but in other scenes, it's better. So there's no, so that's that's not a downgrade because they may have taken something away, but they've added something. Something else looks better, okay? Uh, I can tell you right now, he says, wait for the 30 series cards. Um, wait a minute, the 30 series cards? Oh, no, 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 no. I'll never be able to afford that. So, I mean, again, I'll probably just stick with what I got. You know, I'll stick with what I got. So, uh, Leo, so you were born, yeah, you're born in the end of July, you're a Leo. So, but, um, but, so, but my point is that there, I can tell you right now, one of the upgrades from The Last of Us Part Two, obviously, is the AI. The AI from those zombies is extremely good. Much better than the AI in Days Gone, and much better than the AI from the last of us. It's also a much better sound. Okay, now when you throw Molotov cocktails at these zombies or the infected, whatever you want to call them, um, when you throw Molotov cocktails on them, it actually sounds like a human being being burnt to death. So, versus uh, some type of ah, like that, it sounds like a person on fire, you know. So. Uh, no, the story was not. I'm playing the game. The story for me is extremely movie. One of the movies I watched years ago was called Swordfish. It had John Travolta, it had Hugh Jackman in it. Um, so I'm going to ask you a question that John Travolta asked in this movie because it's, it's this. There's no wrong answer to this question. Okay, what if you could cure every disease on planet Earth? I think everybody agrees that would be good. You can just wipe out all the disease on planet Earth, okay? Cancer, HIV, HPV, 
cystic fibrosis, uh, diabetes, uh, whether it be child or adult. Um, I think everybody would agree that's a good thing, okay? But what if you had to kill a child to do it? Hmm? What's up, Ice Queen? So that film had Harry, Halle Berry. Yeah, the film was good. So what could you do it? You could cure every disease on planet Earth, but you had to go kill a child to do it. Could you do it? Okay, do you subscribe to what Spock said, going into my little Star Trek nerd here, um, Spock said the need of the many outweigh the need of the few or the one, okay? That's from straight from Star Trek II, the original Star Trek II, all right? So that's, that's a dilemma you're in in The Last of Us, you know, because Ellie is by, and I'm not going to spoil anything, as you saw in the very first trailer at PlayStation Experience, Ellie said, I'm going to go find them and kill every single one of them. And that's exactly what she starts to do. But as the game progresses, as the story progresses, you get the sense that Ellie really, her heart ain't in this. It's more about anger. You know, her heart isn't in it. And you start seeing that when she comes across one of the first people on that kill list that's already dead. Okay. And she, this person's already dead. And, and, be, and she said, Dina says to her, what would you have done to make her talk? And Ellie literally said, I don't know what I would have done. Okay. Somebody who's on a murder mission, when you need somebody to talk, you'll cut their fingers off if you have to. That's why I just asked you, could you do that? John Travolta asked a question about the child in Swordfish. So, yeah, I mean, you know, and it was a it was a very straightforward, poignant, poignant question. You can you can wipe out all disease on planet Earth, but then they say that child over there, and let's say that child is is five years old, okay? An innocent child. Could you put a bullet in that child and cure all diseases? So a lot of people, oh well, yeah, I'm not. I'm not spoiling anything in the game. Like that, what I just talked about with Ellie and Dina, that's in the first five hours of the game. So I assume everybody's at least five hours in. But the story is fine. I said this on King Thrash's show the other day. You have a group of people who knew nothing about the game. They actually thought the game was about Joel. The game has, has never, I mean, in all the marketing that has been leading up to this game, Joel wasn't even in the marketing except for one time. And again, these same clowns did not have any problem when the Russo brothers used deceptive marketing in the Avengers movie. Go back and watch Avengers Endgame. Watch the second trailer. Or a matter of fact, go to Infinity War. Watch the trailer for Infinity War. When, when, if you remember the trailer for Infinity War, it shows all the Avengers running through the jungle. It, we never saw that, did we? We never saw that scene. It's called deceptive marketing. Okay? And so it is what it is. So, uh, oh, no, you're back at the hospital. No, I hope you're feeling better. Hmm. Uh, yeah, everybody, let's give a... Let's pray for Don. I hopefully hope you're feeling better. So, um, and the, the story for me has provided ups and downs. I've laughed. I'm like, man, this is uh, this is tough, but it's got to get done. Okay? It's got to get done. There, there's a scene in there, and people are like, well, the choices that they made and stuff like that. Well, I, I so far agree with all the choices. Okay? But if you have, but let me just say this in closing, and I'm going to move on. Um, if you're having issues with some of the things that um, Ellie has had to do, and a lot of people know what I'm talking about, um, that's that's a good thing. You should you should feel uncomfortable out there murdering people. Uh, so don't feel bad for yourself. I don't feel bad for those guys. That that actually shows they have a pretty good moral compass. 
Are they mad about Joel? This isn't Nick Jr. Yeah, I agree with that. They they just didn't know the story. And this is a bunch of incels that got nothing else to do. So they, they do nothing but complain. So uh, we'll start. Uh, I won't start with this one. Let's, let's start with something else. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me go back here. Let's clear that. Um, let's go to this one. So we'll start with the uh, Sony bid on some studios. So that's a nice segue. But good morning, everybody. I certainly hope everybody is here, is uh, having a good weekend. Like I said, it's friggin' humid as the dickens outside where I'm at. So uh, extremely, up. it feels like you're being pushed down. You know, it feels like the humidity just hits you in the face like nobody's business. So the game editor said he had to restart his game because you missed um, some collectibles in the first few chat. Hey, that's fine, bro. That's fine. That's fine. What's up, JP Loco? Hit that like button if you all don't mind. Um, see, Tin Q Razine said it's sad how idiots being immature about Joel dying is over. Well, now that's a spoiler right there. So just so you know. Um, yeah, but the story's not about him. Never has been about him. So that is a spoiler, though. So I am going to delete your comment. So well, I'm just not going to show your comment. I will have to put you in timeout, though. No spoilers, please. <laughs> this is, you're, you're being timed out because you dropped the spoiler. All right? Because there's people that haven't played. So just remember that. Hmm. So. Oh, okay. I got you. I, I got you. Woman stuff. That's all you have to do. That's it. Fine. We're moving on. Um, so this is from uh, this article that's up on the screen. is from uh, PC, uh, uh, PC Games Insider. And uh, you know, now the reason you're blocked, Mr. Ray Raisin, is because you dropped a spoiler. So, not you know, but I mean, again, when you pop back up, I'll make you a mod. All right? I'll, I'll if you're still here, I'll make you a mod. I'll split the difference because, again, no spoilers, okay? Because there, there are people that haven't played and picked the game up yet. So, But uh, I wanted to read this article here. We can just go over this. I don't know if you all knew this. Uh, shout out to BitCloud. I know he – I think they talked about this yesterday. But uh, so it says Sony might put a bid in for uh, Lee U Technologies. Now, let's stress the word they might put a bid in. If they do, they still might not get get it. Okay, let's just be honest here. This is not that three letter podcast with the southern accent. So this is the most honest Xbox podcast out there. No speculation, no fake neutrals. Okay, when we're going to talk about what's out there, and I don't mind some speculation in the in the fact that if you've got something that that you feel is worth mentioning but uh no nah, we we're not going to be on here speculating about t flops and all that kind of stuff so all right so it says here that uh this is from uh calvin this is from alex calvin this is july 3rd so this was yesterday and uh so it says playstation maker sony might be putting in a bid to buy hong kong based liu technology holdings now this is according to bloomberg and the story it goes into a little bit more on bloomberg but uh so it says, which says the Japanese giant might be interested in snapping up the company and has brought a financial advisor on board to place the offer. So if they brought it a financial advisor on, they're actually going to make a pitch. So it says Lee Yu owns a number of game firms, including Warfare Studio, Digital Extremes, as well as UK developers Splash, Splash Damage. It's also working on MMO based on Amazon's upcoming The Lord of the Rings TV show. So now I, that's news to me. I did not know Amazon was going to have a Lord of the Rings TV show. How many of you all knew that? I did not know that. That's news for me. OK, uh, I'm interested in it because I like that world. But I just wonder when it's going to happen. So uh, uh, it says Chinese firm I Dream Sky was in talks to buy leaving in December of 19 February of this year. It was revealed that buyout firm CBC Capital Partners was talking to I Dream Sky about buying Lilu. Now, CBC is huge. That's a huge acquisitional firm. 
Fortunately, the COVID-19 virus put these talks on ice. Yeah, it's done that for a lot of countries. So uh, it says, since Liu has received a takeover offer from Zhejiang Century Group, so the news of Sony's involvement led to a 9.8% increase in valuation of Liu stock. So again, basically when you when your company is about to be bought and other companies come in, it drives up the value of your company. That's why you saw this stock increase right here. Okay. So yeah. But um, let's see here if I can find another article to see what these companies um we drop that. Let me go over here. Yeah, hopefully BitCloud is making me another uh overlay and it's gonna be Xbox centric. So we uh have the real Xbox podcast, not some fake ass stuff that other people were talking about. So uh, let's see here. See Splash Damage Game. Because I saw a list of some of the things uh, that they do. Um, oh, okay. Splash Damage Games does Gears Tactics. So they're in the United Kingdom. They're in London. They have 300 employees. But, um, yeah, they've, uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can put this on the screen. So, um, yeah, I'll just put this up here. I won't dev deep into their, um, there we go. So, Slash Damage, again, this is if Sony gets this, This they will actually get the, the studio that made, I believe they made and possibly published Gears Tactics and other games too. They made other games too, okay? So, What's up, Shadow the Goat? How are you doing? Hit that like button as you come in, people, um, if you don't mind. And, um, yeah, once you hit that like button, go ahead and check out those perks and join the club. Again, I'm going to be doing a members-only stream uh, next week. It will be members-only. So uh, that's the plan. So, so far we got four or five members. And, uh, so they'll be the only ones able to make comments and they'll get a, they'll get an open Q and a session with the Xbox Messiah. I just have to schedule a time. I got to figure out a time that's good for everybody. So, uh, that is true. Corey Massey. It has not been confirmed that Sony bought house bar. That is true. So, um, uh, there's a little bit of smoke there that Sony has bought a studio, but uh, not for sure which one. So it may be something small. So, uh, but a house mark would be good. So hit that like button, like Lincoln Clay said, uh, the, the ageless wonder will come knocking at your door, and you know he may he may throw a left, right, left, right, you're toothless. So there you go. But uh, yeah, so this studio, so in theory. If Sony gets this studio, gets this company, they will own the company that published Gears Tactics. This is why I said to King Thrash the other day, don't be shocked if you don't start seeing some games show up. And again, Sony is making a bid to either to do a Halo-like movie or TV show. Well, I know a Halo movie, so, you know. So he says, as soon as you put that Xbox stuff up there, you're going to have Xbox going to expect you to lie. <laughs> well, they expect me to lie. That's not happening. Xbox lives matter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it, you know, here's the thing you can ask yourself. Mm. I respect you enough not to lie to me. Okay. I respect you enough not to lie to me. Somebody who is going to lie to you does not respect you. It's not about liking people. Okay? It's not about liking people. It's about respecting them. But somebody is at least going to listen to listen to you live or watch you stream something or listen to your playbacks. You got to at least be honest with that person. Okay? You got to be honest with them. Yeah, so there ain't no there ain't no reason to lie about stuff. So and um so there's no reason to so, um, said Foxy said a game that was exclusive on one platform is not a PS5 exclusive. So you think you think has so I think has bought them. Well, what game do they make that was exclusive on Microsoft's platform or Nintendo's platform that now Sony would have? So I'm just asking. So 
Uh, those are mass studios, but they could publish games where directly to PlayStation Now, correct? So, oh, there you are. Let me go ahead and make you a mod, my friend. Again, the reason why you got timed out was because of the spoiler. So, uh, let me. Um, I need to get that off the screen. So let me go here. Let's have to go back. Go back. Go back to the woods. There we go. So uh, let's see here. Let me find your name. And there you go. You are now a moderator. So we'll split the difference there. So. <laughs> so. Oh, you gotta go have your wisdom teeth out. Oh my goodness, that that is pain. That is pain. <laughs> so that is pain. So ouch. So um. So yeah, yeah. I'm. I, if I had enough space on my hard drive, I would. I would get Gears Tactics. I just don't have enough space, so uh, I've got to get something. I got to get my computer ginned up, and I've got an SSD. So and uh, so I've got a, but I have no idea how to put games from my hard drive to my SSD. I have no idea how to do that. Like none. That is way above my pay grade. So um, says Xbox is the best box. We green. Yes, yeah, crazy. Yeah, RDNA two and VRS more CUs. Yeah, well. I mean, again, we're 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 going to be talking about a game that's a multi-plat game. What's up, Rice Eater? How you doing? Everybody, hit that like button. Check out and join the uh, club. We will get the club membership up, and we can get going. So, yeah, Wisdom Tea, that is no fun. That is no fun. So, um, so yeah, what's up, Double C? <laughs> like my girlfriend, she's a C. So. Um, <laughs> mm. Mm. Ah. So yeah, we'll move on. We'll move the story forward. What can be next? So, all right, PS5 pre-orders. If you're not yet, there is a rumor going around saying that you'll be able to uh, pre-order on July 13th. Now, there is absolutely nothing. Nothing from Sony that says that they're going to put pre-orders out. I mean, there's no indicators. So, um, so everybody just that, that is a major rumor. Uh, I mean, but I'm off. On, that's a Monday. That is uh, following. That's next Monday, the 13th. So uh, I will be off and I will be up ready to go if I get the email from. I think I'm on Amazon and Best Buy. I don't trust Target. <laughs> I don't trust them. So there you go. There you go. But uh so I didn't sign up for Target or Walmart, but Best Buy and Amazon I'm I'm signed up for. So uh we'll go ahead and do that. So <laughs> somebody Andre Clay says, Am I buying Horizon Zero Dawn for PC? Uh maybe next year. Maybe next year it's my PC, you know, once I get the beast PC up and running. So uh, I saw the specs. Let's look at the specs for it. Um, let me see what exactly you need to um, see. PC specs. Let's just look here. So it, you need, um, let's see here. Let's go to PC and games. And. Um, Looks like you need the requirements are very stringent. It says the requirements are very stringent, either at a minimum, Gorilla suggests a Intel Core i5 2500K or AMD FX 6300 paired with a GeForce GTX 780 or Radeon R9290. Okay, that's minimum spec. The recommended specs suggests a i7-4770K or a Ryzen 5 1500X, okay? So it's put together with a GTX 1060 
or an RX 580. Says you'll need to clear about 100 gigabytes of hard disk space either way. So now you got to remember, shout out to Optimus Code because he said that the 1060 is the target for most um, piece uh, for most games. You got to remember the 1060 and the, and the 580 are the it kind of entry level cars. Now it's hard to believe when the when the F when the uh, RX 580. I'm sorry, when the Xbox X came out. The 580 was considered like one of AMD's uh, middle of the road cards. I mean, it was better than the 480. So, and shout out to the PC community for my 580. But uh, that's not bad. I mean, that's pretty much a minimum spec game. Uh, so, again, those are your minimum specs. So, you need that. Now, can you put this on a on an R on a Ryzen 5 1400 and then a G and then a is there a 1050? Is there a 1050 car, NVIDIA car? I think there's a 1050. Sure you could, but you're it's it's gonna be severely downgraded. That's that's what that's what I'm talking. This is what I was talking about earlier. You it will be severely downgraded. So uh just guys, this is what it is. So um let's see here. I don't know what the heck that is. Okay, so yeah, so if you got something better than this, you know, I can probably run this game at I don't know. Gee whiz, am I set up about 100 frames a second, maybe? I mean, I'm not. This game is three and a half years old. I've already beaten it. But um, shout out to everybody that's going to go buy it. So, oh, we have a new member. I am sorry. Mega Devo. Shout out, Mega Devo. I appreciate you coming on, brother. And uh, I will update you via a uh, video link uh, next week on when we have the members only uh podcast and i'm gonna i am off next uh wednesday thursday friday so uh look for it to be everybody that's a member look for it to be done on the night so i have to learn how to set that up so um so it says horizon uh let's see here um says you will buy Horizon Zero Dawn for PC if Sony doesn't enhance the game for PS5. Yeah, and again, Corey Massey, that's another reason I'm waiting till next year, maybe. But again, I'm not knocking it. Shout out to the new newest member, Mega Dave O, though. I uh, appreciate you, brother. And you can see Mega Dave O is green. I believe if I believe Mega Dave O joined from an Android phone. So if you join via Android, you get the term green. I have no idea why the Apple users are having issues. I don't. I mean, I, I don't know what to do. I, I, mean, I can go to the Apple store and find out. So um, let's see here. It says, don't need to buy it on PC because the PS5 will run it at max settings when it launches. Again, Rice Eater 79 shout out to your brother for the, that's a good comment. But unfortunately, we don't have any evidence of that. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm simply saying that no, there's nothing out there that, that proves that. So Quambo says, what up? What's up there, my friend, Quambo? And of course, the Nightbot's keeping an eye on everybody. Shout out to Big Cloud for helping me set up the Nightbot. He is out of control. At one point, it was out of control. It was like the Terminator. You know what I'm saying? So uh, but you love that Nightbot, JP Loco. You know you love that Nightbot. Certainly hope it's cooler in Australia today than it is up here in North America because we are up here sweltering. I mean, it's like a black man sweating. I'm sweating like a black man going to a white girl's funeral. So it is hot out there. So those Apple users are stuck in 2015. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, and tune in every Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern. So we'll move on to the next story. Um, let's see here. Now that we know what the you need to play Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, let's see here. Did we get this GameSpot one? What is this? Okay. All right. Well, this is from the, the, the GameSpot articles about the pre orders. We just went over this. So we'll move to the to the to one of the last articles here, just another lie that has been exposed from the Xbox community that that's uh, unfortunate. The game editor says it's nice and cool in the UK. Well, I'm glad it is. We're over here sweating. It is horrible. So it is horrible. So, <laughs> so you, JP Loco, take a look at those memberships and uh, be the first man 
in your country of Australia to become a member, that would make the podcast almost international. Because we got uh, there's people in the UK that have joined, there's people in the states that have joined. But I uh, gotta get some, uh, gotta get some people uh, from Australia and from the Asian Pacific realm. That way, it is truly an international membership. So, and I can change the name to international membership. So, uh, so uh, it says that you know. Let's see here. Actually, there is information. Sony did not. Sony already confirmed. Yeah, but they did. Sony did confirm the top one hundred get a boost, but. One, we don't know what that boost is, and two, we don't know if Horizon Zero Dawn is on that list. So, um, but uh, yeah, you're, I'm not saying you're wrong, but there's not anything solid that says we're going to get anything. So, and, and uh, you know, what's up, Link? What's happening? What is happening? So, uh, let's see here. So, say so he's definitely. Yeah, uh, TG said he's going to definitely buy it. Uh, buy Horizon on PC. It's only 18 USD. Oh wow. Well, there you go. Oh yeah, Ice Queen, you are the first member. That that is not going to be forgotten. So you are the first member. You're you are member zero. You're patient zero. You're the first one. So so um so uh um to die for says he's already bought it. That's cool. PS5 can stream in 8K assets. Yes, that's been proven by the Unreal demo. That is true. That is true. So. <laughs> so, uh, you know, so, so yeah, anybody who tells you that the PS5 can't do 8K is lying. It's all, you know, because that's already been shown. We already know that with the Unreal one, Unreal Engine game. So, uh, but we'll move to the final story, the what I would like to call the final blow against the liars in the Xbox community. As we know that uh, the game Dirt was shown at the... Uh, at the Xbox event, and it was going to be a 120 FPS mode on there. And, uh, you know, we were told, what's up, the Hulk? What is happening? What is happening, brother? Um, so uh, we were we were told that the only, the only the Xbox X can do this because it's got 52 CUs and uh, 12 T-flops and whatever else it's got on there, you know. And uh, so, you know, and the PS5 couldn't do it. You know, it could not do it. But Don says she's on her way back home and she's in some pain. Well, be careful going home, Don. Be careful going home. So, so he's thinking about buying it and keeping it in your Steam library until you get your gaming PC. And that's fine. Hey, you know the specs you need. So um, there you go. I mean, I, I would say to people, though, to get a minimum, if you're going to do an AMD build, Get yourself at least a 5700 XT. I mean, we're talking about for next year. And then um, get yourself at minimum, try to get a 27. Try to. I'm not saying if you can't, you can't. So, you know, but uh, I'm just saying to people. So, <laughs> uh, the Sure All Humans remake, collector's edition for $500 and two copies of Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. But you're curious to know what percentage of console users actually have 120 hertz TVs. It's a pointless feature. Well, all right, in the United States, most of us have our grid is only 60 hertz. So that's what about 90% of our TVs are at. Now, there are some TVs that do have 120 hertz, but they don't maintain it. Like if they hit 120 hertz every 10th cycle, they say it's a 120 hertz TV. So um, can Series X stream in 8K or not? Yeah, they both can stream 8K assets, okay? So, um, I mean, again, that that's coming direct. Look, Phil Spencer has said they can do it, so there he cannot say they can't falsely advertise. So, you know, uh, that would be false. Uh, if, if they can't, that's false then. You know, it's false advertising. They could get sued for that. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, well, let's share this story here. If I can get my fingers to work. So, I mean, can somebody explain to me why the developer, uh, which is, uh, uh, let's see who your developer is here, um, says here, Dirt 
on PS5 will have an option for 120 FPS. Okay. Now, this is not coming from me. This is not coming from, this is not a fanboy site. This was yesterday at 11 o'clock in the morning that uh, this story broke. And again, this is dirt. Again, I don't, here's the thing. Dirt is worse than Cars 3, Project Cars 3. Okay? It is. It's just, it's not a great game. But again, the Xbox fanboys, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, wanted to use this as a slam card. Now, for one thing, uh, this is from Codemasters. Okay, this is Codemasters. All right. So this whole notion that um, this whole notion that Xbox is going to have better versions of multi-plat games, they're not. I mean, I've been sitting here saying this, that both consoles will do the same thing. Have I not been saying that? Has any, put, an F in, put an F in the chat if you've heard me say this for at least six months. Both consoles will do the same thing. They will get there differently, but in the end, they're going to both do the same things because there's nowhere left to go. Okay, both consoles will do 4K. Both consoles can stream assets in. Sony's console does it faster, okay? And it's starting to look like uh, developers are going to pick the option, at least meet Sony, maybe not all the way, I'm talking about third-party developers, but they're going to meet Sony at least halfway with their SSD, okay? You've got too many third-party people coming out saying that they are going to support this, so that's another lie that you told that's not true. Stop lying. I, I don't know what else to say about this anymore. Stop lying. That I won't have to pull off my belt and bust your cheeks. It's that simple. No lie. No paddle. You keep lying, I will, I'll, I'll hurt you. Okay? We have a tweet from somebody that said that the Xbox is going to have a minimum of four of 40 to 50 FPS and that there was going to be a gulf in graphics gulf and you have all these third party developers contradicting this clown so it, it's time to just move on i'm not here look i'm not buying a series x because i'm my pc i, I decided to upgrade my pc now i i'm i'm on record saying that they do a lock card and it gives me 1080p 60 i'll buy a lock card Okay, I'm on record. So, but it says here that, uh, you know, as usual, racing games will play a big role in showcasing next gen hardware with titles like GT Sport or Drive Club. The journey is often home to some of the best looking games around. We all agree with that, okay? For the four of the series, whether it's Horizon or Motorsports, if you think the games are, are trash, you can't deny that the games don't look really good okay so uh it says this is we had now i'll just kind of cut to the chase here okay so it was slate it was stated a while back that the xbox series x version of the off-road racer would be able to run at an ultra smooth 120 frames per second it's an impressive figure considering the majority of console games still don't offer 60 fps it's now being confirmed that here it is now being confirmed that the PS5 version will also be capable of running at this enhanced frame rate. Now, it, so I want you all to really understand that, that all this talk of the 12 T-flops and the, and the 52 CUs, it doesn't matter because what you need to go back and listen to what Mark Cerny talked about at his, at his press conference. Or... Do do yourself better because Mark Cerny put me to sleep. It was a what is it? ASMR. Fine, fair enough. I agree with you. But but you can go listen to Sick Humor. Sick Humor did a very good breakdown of what Mark Cerny was talking about. So if you don't want to listen to Sick Humor because he's a pony, he's a stallion. I don't want to listen to Sick Humor. You can go listen to a gentleman that calls himself the Cherno. Okay, he used to be a developer for EA. He does a pretty good breakdown. Uh, so does this gentleman. I know that um, I think King Thrash is trying to get Innocence on his podcast, an interview. Um, 
he does a good breakdown of it. Everybody's coming to the same conclusion except the Xbox community. Why? Why? If everybody's telling the same story and you're telling a different story, it means you're fucking lying. That's what it means. It means you're fucking lying. All right? So it just says here that uh, speaking as part of a big PS5 feature in official PlayStation Magazine or OPM for you gangsters out there, says Dirt 5's development director Rob Carp reveals the stat. The power of the PS5 also means we will have the option for 120 FPS, which is very exciting for the racers who know that every frame counts, he says. So, says, I'll just finish this up here. Says, that is, that, that it will be an option, perhaps suggests we'll be able to choose between resolution or performance. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Says, I, again, I'm not buying this game. I'm, I'm going to buy Gran Turismo, okay? And I'll buy the next Forza game on PC. That'll, that'll take care of my racing thirst, okay? <laughs> so, uh, says, uh, this is becoming more commonplace these days. Would you prefer more detail on screen or a smoother experience? For the PS5 version of Dirt 5, we can see the game offering a, a 120F, now this is speculation, 120 FPS mode with reduced resolution or 60 FPS mode at full 4K. So again, now again, I'm not buying the game. Okay, I'm my favorite racing game, Gran Turismo. I'm that that's new. I'm buying that. I got no problem buying that. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, but again, these are just more lies. I I I really hope that when um. I can't think of that one guy's name. They, they got butt hurt and left. All right, but I really hope the hope the people who are in the Xbox community that understand technology now understand there is no difference in what. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I mean, there's just not going to be that big of a difference. As a matter of fact, I put an article up months a few days ago. I'm going to say months ago. So about this. So let me see if I can find that on the Twitter machine. And uh, let's see here. Um, there we go. Um, maybe I can find the podcast. Go here. Make that small. Again, I, I did this podcast the other day. But here's another developer. It says, we don't see many differences between the PS5 and Xbox Series X. These are developers, guys. You know, it's just getting to a point where you're, what are you guys, I mean, the, the fact that you're you're willing to argue with developers, is that what you've become? Have you become that guy that, this, that says, well, I don't care what the developer says, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead with the lie? Okay? So the funny thing is that both PS5 and Xbox Series X um they're going to be doing are going to be doing upscale resolutions when doing 120 fps unless second indie you're, you're right so so that's why fans think to you know, still think that uh the 120 fps at 4k big. yeah i agree i agree i, I mean look I, you're going to get i've said this multiple times you're going to get 1080p you're going to get 1440p you i mean i've said this a thousand times uh, you're going to get 1800p you're going to get checkerboarding you're going to get dynamic 4k on the xbox website it says that they're going to have true 4k gaming and we all know what true 4k gaming is true 4k gaming is what dynamic resolutions checkerboard resolutions let's let's let me go ahead and bust your cheeks on that one because I, I keep forgetting that you guys are just ignorant. So uh, let's see. We're going to type in. <laughs> yeah, True 4K, Microsoft. So I'm just going to pull up this article from TechStunt that's two years old. All right. And this is for anybody who doesn't know what True 4K is, okay? There you go. It's right there on the screen. And that article is from two years ago. Okay? So Microsoft classifies the checkerboard rendering and dynamic resolution scaling as true 4K resolution. So can you all please knock it the hell off? 
Just knock it the hell off. It's over. Okay, it's over. Your console is not going to do anything different at all. Now, there are going to be some games that, as of right now, like right now, there are some games that the Xbox X, look, it looks better. I, I've had an Xbox X. I've seen it with my own eyes. Okay? But there's also a lot of games that look and run better on the PlayStation as well. So, again, it's, uh, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, Gaminator, GT Sport is targeting 240 FPS. So, um, you know, that is true. You know. <laughs> so, you know, I just do not get that. So, so it says, didn't Sony say something? You need at least eight tape. Well, no, that technically what Mark Cerny said was, he, and he was guessing. He said, yeah, you would need at least eight tape T flops to run the run the games that PlayStation has at native 4K. And that was years ago. That was years ago. So, oh, shout out to the uh, rice eater for the five dollar holla. He said, it's going to be funny to see how Xbox react when they're told multi-plats have the same performance options across the board between PS4. Yeah, I mean, you're right. And there was somebody on Twitter literally saying that he's going to wait He's going to wait about the resolution on a dirt five. And I'm like, dude, this is, this is getting to a point where they are, they're being pushed into a corner that said that they want to be able to say our 4k is better than your 4k. And so this kind of goes back to something that the crap gamer said when he was on King Thrash's uh, podcast, they desperately want this 1080p 900p moment and they're never going to get it. They're just, they're never, uh, like the song by Inbo, never going to get it, never going to get it. You're never going to get it. You're never going to get it. So I'm asking the Xbox community, do you want to be the guy in the corner talking, you know, literally upset because things didn't go the way that these idiots told you they were going to go? Or do you want to be the guy that's just out there enjoying his hobby? I mean, what? who do you want to be? Which way do you want to take this? I mean, because it's just such BS coming out of you guys' mouth. I mean, it's just it's, it's just total BS at this point. And, it, you know, so the re I, you know, I've made my case on Series X. I've done multiple podcasts saying that, look, there is nothing wrong with the Series X. Go out and buy one. Heck, buy two. Donate one to me if you want to. But do not get caught up in this BS that you're getting caught up in because you're just going to get torn apart. And it's not worth it. I mean, man, this is it's not worth it. Go enjoy the hobby. Shout out to you, Rice Eater, with a $5 hobby. So, so, yeah, Horizon 2, Returnal, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart. Yeah, Kena. Kena, I believe, is a time. It's time. The little devil inside. That, I'm not buying that. Uh, Demon Souls remake all day one purchase. Well, there you go. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's fine. That is fine. You know, yeah, I'm definitely Kena. The, the, I'm more interested in that game than anything. So, I mean, again, it's not that the games I saw weren't. weren't <laughs> I'm interested in them too, but the Kena game that that's the one I'm doing it. So it says here the Xbox was doing fake 4K and had to be compromised. Well, here's the problem. They they think that true 4K, I don't know what they think true 4K means anymore. I mean, because again, it, this article is two years old. And uh it just all they're talking about is um all they're talking about is the techniques that they're using to get the 2160p. That's it. That's what true 4K is. And again, when it was tried to when people tried to come to these guys. And explain to them what it was. They literally like hey, you're damage control, and the Xbox is just better content. And now you look stupid. I'm just saying, don't be that guy, okay? <laughs> That's all I'm asking, guys. Don't, don't be that guy. All right, what's up, Impatient Fire? So uh, the more gamers play Twitter and YouTube comments and actual play. And you're right. You're right about that. You were 100 right about that. So, but yeah, man, oh man. So, then these X dot simps don't want to acknowledge that the PS5 is insane. 2.23 gigahertz GPU clock speed, 
Was that closer? Yeah, that is true. That, I've been told that by three people. It is that the the act the speed the processing speed is makes up for a whole lot of stuff. Again, it was going over my head, but uh, I was talking to some friends of mine that worked in the Geek Squad, and they're like, "Yeah, the the." Xbox went more with a evolution and Sony went more with a revolution and the revolution will not be televised. Okay. The revolution will be live. So, <laughs> so yeah, crypto is right. They've been complaining about specs since 2014, my guy, 2014. You know, so I'm just saying, I mean, so they've been unhappy and they're still unhappy. I mean, they're still unhappy. So it just, uh, just it is what it is. I mean, it's just, uh, it's unfortunate that they, that some of them have painted themselves into a corner. Because not all of them have done that. But uh, I mean, this is a two year old article and they act like this doesn't exist. Okay. They act like this doesn't exist. So, but we can pull this anytime you want to. Anytime you all go into your uh, native for now, if you want to say that na a native picture is better than a dynamic one and and checkerboard and one, I agree. You're 100 percent correct. I mean, that's there's no arguing that. Nobody will argue that. But but when you're back from uh, viewing distance, especially with checkerboarding, you can't tell the difference. Now, dynamic resolution, you may get some screen tearing. So now, there is a difference there. So you're right about so, but yeah, there ain't a whole lot. Problem is pro Xbox channels is that they really try hard to drive home a point about how much better the X SSS overall PS5 also. Yeah. Well, again, you're right about that, but I'm a pro Xbox channel. And the truth is, is that huh, I'm telling you the truth about it. And, and the developers, yeah, they're arguing with developers, man. It's been pretty sad. Rice Eater with another $5. Yeah, the Xbox are the we happy few. Yeah, that's pretty good that they bought that developer. So, yeah. So, uh, Rice Eater 79, shout out to Rice Eater 79. Says, the argument is Sony show games at 4K30, and Microsoft is promising to earn 20 for Halo, but they don't realize how. They don't realize Halo will be a current Gen X one point. Port, so they show. Yeah, well, again, and remember, Sony didn't show at 4K. They showed at 1080p. They, you can go back and watch it in 4K. Uh, yeah, the thing is, though, and you're right, Rice Eater. Appreciate the five dollar holler again. The thing is, is that didn't they? They're bragging about this game called Cyberpunk, right? They showed Cyberpunk was shown at 1080p, 30 FPS on a 2080 Ti. Okay, you got, you know, so I just, and, and again, look, 30 FPS is not going anywhere. I don't know why. And shout out to Foxy Games UK because he said that many moons ago. 30 FPS is not going anywhere. Checkerboarding ain't going nowhere. I mean, it's not. Dynamic resolutions are not going anywhere. Only the people in the Xbox community sat around in a circle and jerked themselves off, and they were saying that, oh, well, you know what? All our games are going to be 4K native at 60 frames a second, and, 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 boo, boo. and now they look stupid. And they're the ones, as you all know, because you all have documented it yourselves, that they're talking about boycotting Assassin's Creed Valhalla because they're butt hurt. I mean, that's the truth. They are literally butt hurt over that. You know, just it is what it is. So, just terrible. So, uh, yeah, I'm Chili Hog. I'm with you. Kena Bridge of Spirits. Uh, the Astrobot. The Astrobot game is going to come with the PS5. It's going to be kind of a walkthrough on what you're supposed to do. So, again, I'm just. Um, hmm. Ah, had more in there than I thought. Um, yeah, now we just have to, and the, from what I've been told, and shout out to a gaming forte, um, that there's going to, it's going to be very hard to get these consoles guys. So just, you go, some of us are going to be, have to be holding our horses. That's why I'm, I'm prepping for not having one. <laughs> so anyway, but the last game of the year I always get is Madden. Normally that's always the last game of the year I buy unless something else comes out that tickles my fancy. So right now, it's still looking like Madden will be the last game that I buy. 
So, so they were using ray tracing. You know, we all know ray tracing kills frame rate. Yeah, yeah. And, and again, the the um, look, I expect the first party developers to be able to do that. Uh, hold on, somebody's calling. All right, my bad. So yeah, but yeah, they're using ray tracing and it does kill frame rates again. And and again, AMD's ray tracing ain't gonna be as good as the videos. Again, another lie they told themselves is that AMD's technology was gonna be just as good as the videos. I don't know what happened to the stream. I had to go on mute. Somebody called, so I put I put myself on mute. So um, thirty FPS is the norm. I did see that. That was funny. I, and again, let me make this clear. I think when the I think at the beginning of the generation, it'll be a lot of thirty. But in, as the generation progresses, it will be more sixty and all that kind of stuff. So that's just now the indie games. The indie games may all be sixty. The indie games will all to me should all be sixty. Uh, I was telling King Thrash and them uh, on Wednesday that. Again, most of Microsoft's games right now, first party, are 60 frames a second. So I'm expecting them to go out there and have 120 options on all their games, especially their first party games, because they already got 60. So you got twice the power. So let's get to the 120, which is perfectly fine. So don't be shocked if that's what happens. So um, uh, post up the same. Not she was like, oh, that this that's that's uh, that's yeah. Let post up say whatever he wants to at this point, Paul G. Um, I think he's been proven wrong about a thousand times. So, so to die for his great says we'll be getting Godfall and Spider Man for sure. Yeah, I don't know about uh, anything else though. Nothing else has been confirmed. Well, I mean, if you buy Madden, you'll get an upgrade for free. If you get a PS5, if you buy Cyberpunk, you'll get an upgrade for free. So, uh, don't, it's not like there won't be stuff out there. So uh, we'll just have to definitely wait for the uh, for the first party stuff. That's all. So yeah, post up is a walking, talking L. So just I would not. I no longer worry about what he says anymore. So <laughs> yeah, Paul G. There you go. Yeah, if you're taking the stuff serious that's happening on uh, Zaire's podcast, nah, not a big deal. 
Uh, shout out to Zaire. Uh, but don't take those guys seriously. They're there to entertain you. They do a heck of a job doing it. And uh, so shout out to them. So, uh, yeah, Marvel's Avengers will be free. Yeah, that matter of fact, that game comes well. Is that August or September? I'm buying that too. So, again, so that will be a game after August that I buy. I forgot about the Avengers. So, uh, which is nice. I mean, I've been an Avengers fan ever since um, the that Captain America first Avenger. That's what kind of, I like the Iron Man movie, but Captain America is what hooked me in. I did enjoy that more than anything. So, yep, September. I got you. Well, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce off of here. Does anybody have any other questions? A shout out to the newest member and uh, for joining. I definitely do appreciate that. Shout out to you, my guy. So, all righty. So, go back up here, and uh, I, I'm on a different screen than you all are, so I cannot see all the. Inner workings, let's put it like that. So, um, of what's going on. But if there's any questions, do your Q and A right now. Uh, let me go to my studio here, and let's go to da -da 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 -da. go to create. And go to live, go to stream now. I'm just checking here. Uh, yeah, Mega Devo, what is happening? There we go. I want to make sure I got his name right. <laughs> Again, I have to, so Mega Devo is the newest member. That gives us enough for our starting team. And uh, we've got uh, over 1,300 subs. So shout out to the subs that have joined. So. And uh, let's see here. Hit that like button, people. And uh, let me go right here. So, uh, this drive, PlayStation 5. Yep. Somebody said white zaddy. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, it says Avengers is a hard pass. That's That's fine. That's fine. Uh, oh, which one am I getting, digital or this version of PS5? Is that a question for me? I will get whichever one I can find. <laughs> so <laughs> more than I want the disc version of the PS5. Okay, that's the that's my first preference. But uh, if I have to get the digital one, I'll buy it. I, I'll be, but I want the disc one because. Um, uh, we know, we know, and shout out to Marlin Gaming Nation. We all know that we can put our disc into the PS5 and it'll play, and then we get our bump. I mean, we have to wait and see, though. So, uh, yeah, uh, it says here, uh, give gamers more PC-like graphics settings and next-gen games, like on PS4 Star Ocean. Well, I mean, I think towards the end, I, look, the first party games will probably come like that. It may take a little longer for the third-party guys to catch on. And, and that's that's fine. I mean, it's, don't get, do not get your seat uh, warmed up to thinking that everything's going to be there day one. You got let them, you know, it's a it's a it's what we call a course meal. Okay, so you're going to get some things and a little bit more and a little bit more. So you know, so yeah, Avengers game single player campaign requires you to be online. Uh, and I don't like that about the game at all. I don't like that about the game at all, but I'll. It, that's I'm I'm playing it because I'm more than an Avengers fan than anything. And maybe I wouldn't be playing it if we got our Black Widow movie. It was supposed to be out. Hell, it was supposed to come out today, July fourth. You know, so I'm supposed to be up the theater watching it. So, <laughs> um, the Demon Souls and GT Seven already confirmed they had graphic options. Uh, again, I don't know about Demon Souls at all. That it's it's alleged. It is it is implied that it will, but nothing nothing uh, has been confirmed yet. But it is implied. So um, <laughs> so we have to wait and see. Definitely got to wait and see. Uh, somebody else asked. It is confirmed. Okay, fair enough. Um, somebody else asked, "Do I mind paying ten more dollars for games?" And the answer is, I don't mind. I mean, if they're going to give us a games that have 
HDR and ray tracing and all that kind of stuff, excuse me. Um, it's I don't mind paying an extra 10 bucks. It's just instead of going in and putting five dollars down to reserve it, you have to go in and put ten dollars down. So the game will just you just go reserve the game, then do what I do and make payments on the game. Uh, the only game I paid off at, at a thousand percent was The Last of Us Part Two. I went in there and uh in February and I, I went in there in de December and reserved it, then it got delayed. Then I put like another 20 bucks down on it. Then it got delayed again. And then I went in there. Once they gave us that hard release date, I went in there like that that Tuesday. I went in there and I reserved it. Then I got ill. Then I started feeling better Friday morning. I went and picked it up. So uh, do you believe we'll get Cap America movies on when he went back in time? If you write the story, that's what the Russo brothers have said. Honestly, the Russo brothers have said that. I mean, they've said it publicly. They were like, that's a good question. Maybe somebody ought to write a story about that. So, you know. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I think we can. If you are, you can write a comic book. You just write a story. Here's what happened when he went back in time. So, you know, where where did he go? I mean, that's the, you know, that's the whole thing is he was supposed to go back to that base. Okay. Remember? Uh, they were supposed to go back to that base. So if you remember in game, he looked through the window and he saw Peggy and he didn't say nothing to her. So your story can start right there. He shows up back at the base. He sneaks back onto the base and, uh, and he puts the, he puts it back. Okay. Uh, he puts the stone back to where it was supposed to go, but then he goes and knocks on the door when he sees Peggy and uh, him and Peggy ride off into the sunset. You know, that's what looked like happened. So it is what it is. So, but we'll have to wait and see. Wonder what superheroes was back then in the 50s. Yeah, when that happened, that was in the 50s or 60s. That was in the 60s when he went to it. So um, um, as far as Marvel superheroes, uh, Captain America, uh, Captain Britain was around. Uh, the Black Widow program was around. You got to remember, Natasha Romanoff's name isn't Black Widow. It's called Natasha. Her name is Natasha. The program is called Black Widow. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that would be that would be good. That's a good story, though, so that you can write. So, so that was a good question, actually. I like my superhero questions. So, um, <laughs> oh, as far as besides Hydra, um, that's a good question. I mean, that is a good question. I mean, you can go back and look. Uh, Spider Man definitely had his enemies. Um, so it's uh it's good. That's a good question. Hoping you hear more about Dying Light too soon. They've been quiet. See, I never played the first Dying Light, but I guess the light is still dying if they're making a sequel. Nighthawk Afterburner still waiting on what's happening, brother? What's happening? <laughs> JP Local says Hell Hydra. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Um, is Doctor Strange able to time travel? He can look ahead and see what's going to happen. So in a way, he has like a looking glass. So, um, but no, he can't time travel physically. So he just can, he can look ahead. He's not supposed to do that. So he's not supposed to do that. So, uh, but yeah, the, the, the sorcerer, that's why the Sorcerer Supreme about threw him out of the sanctum was because he used the time uh, stone to, um, get the words back in the book that uh Cassie stole. So, you know, and that's why Mordor got mad at him. So he's not supposed to do that. But that's a good question. So so he could yeah. Well in theory you he could yeah. Yeah he can't see backwards, which is odd because you would think you can look back first. So but yeah, he, he looked yeah, that's true. 
And again, the, the Avengers, the people were saying that uh, the root people thought that the Avengers lost to Thanos because they were separate. Well, even when they were together, Thanos kicked their butt. Okay, Thanos kicked their butt. All right, he had Stark down. He had Thor about kill, and um, Captain America. What he broke his shield, and um, you know was going to kill him. And then that's when they came through the portal. So probably, arguably, the one of the best, if not the best, scene in a movie that I can remember. Okay, you know, and I literally that was one part of the. When those portals started opening, everybody in the theater just started clapping. Everybody started clapping. And that's that's called cinematography when the action is implied and you, you still feel it without hearing words. That scene was that powerful for me personally. For me personally. Because you're seeing this investment that you made back when Iron Man came out pay off. And again, nobody, and do not let anybody tell you that that's what we expected to see on that screen. So just so you know, what's up, plus Ultra? So, you know, Thanos was a titan with the most powerful stone, so he was almost unbeatable. Yeah, once he got the space stone in the beginning of Endgame, I'm sorry, in Infinity War, he became unbeatable. At that point, nobody, the only one that could have probably stopped him that you have seen and we've all seen in the MCU is Hella. Hella might have been able to defeat and maybe Odin, okay? But the rest of them, as far as the people we have seen, they were going to lose to him. So that's what, and that's what I'll be trying to tell uh, Sick Humor and uh, Jemiah Dixon is that they think that Hulk should be able to beat him anyway. It's like, no, Hulk is an Earth being and Thanos is a space-based being. So it's not gonna happen. So and again, well, Wanda Maximoff could have beaten him, and she was killing him. And uh, so that's that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. So would have Link would have loved to seen this shot where every Avenger took a shot at Thanos in slow mo. Um, that actually scene, JP Local was actually shot. Okay, they actually shot a scene where Hulk got revenge. On uh, Thanos, it's actually it's 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 there. It's actually been cut out of the movie, and uh, but they made it. Where's that um, Hulk when he snapped his fingers to bring everybody back? That pretty much that almost that broke his arm for the most part. That's why Stark had to put those nanites on his arm. So um, so but uh. They, they couldn't say, the Russo brothers made a good point. They said, we, we couldn't say that Thanos snapped his fingers and it damn near killed him, but it almost didn't kill the Hulk because Thanos is stronger than the Hulk. So, so Thanos was dumb as hell for destroying the stones. Well, he did not destroy the stones. Go back and listen to what he said. He said, I reduced them down to their subatomic state. So that means those stones still exist. They're just in a subatomic state. So you can't destroy the stones because they actually control what we deem as the flow of time. So you can't destroy them. So, um, <laughs> um, but that was a good question. Comet Thanos run through the Avengers without any infinity. Yeah, I mean, he didn't need it. So he didn't need the Infinity Gauntlet to beat the Hulk either. Because that's what everybody thought, including myself. I thought, oh, well, he used the Power Stone to defeat the Hulk. And the Russo brothers said, no, he just beat him. He didn't have to use the Power Stone. That's why um, That's why uh, the mall, that's why Ebony Mall said, let him have his fun. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, the Titans are demigods. They are descendant, direct descendants. Um, and Thanos has the um, deviant gene, so he's stronger. He's unusually strong. So, um, but having seen it, your inner comment, yeah. I mean, I'm happy about it. I mean, you know, I was thoroughly happy about it. <laughs> I'm not complaining, but um, uh, but yeah, I was shocked to see that on the screen. So. Um, and it was very similar. Even in Infinity War, 
when Thanos got that final stone. I mean, the way he took it out of Vision's head, that was right out of the comic book. Um, the march, the way he got there, that's what he did in the comic book. He just went through the Avengers one by one. So, uh, and again, they did have him beat when they outsmarted him on Titan. They were getting the glove off his hand, but then Star-Lord went pure blue pill because he got mad because his girlfriend got hurt or killed. So, what's going on, Windsweep? How are you doing, young man? So, um, let's see here. Yeah, I agree with you, Corey Massey. I, yeah, I agree because I when I left the when I left the theater when I saw Iron Man, I didn't stay for the in cut scene. I didn't know they had that. So, but again, I watched Iron Man. Then I think they did Incredible Hulk next, and Incredible Hulk was just not a good movie. So about the one with Ed Norton, um, it was trash. And then um, then they had then I think they did Thor next, and they did Captain America. No, I'm sorry. Hulk did so bad that they ended up having to do Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2 had to meet some benchmarks in order for them to get Thor approved. And then Thor came out and made enough money where they got Captain America approved. And then they did the Avengers. And the rest is history. The rest is history. So I think phase one is Iron Man, followed by the Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America, the first Avenger. Then there's the Avengers movie, and that's the end of phase one. Phase two starts with Iron Man 3. So um, you love how Marvel built up their universe with all those movies. Uh, yeah, I agree. But like I said, I didn't know anything about Doctor Strange, and I liked the Doctor Strange movie. I liked the Ant-Man movie. Uh, I liked Ant-Man 1 more than I liked Ant-Man 2, but Ant-Man 2 was fine. When you look at the fact we just had Infinity War, then Ant-Man 2 comes out. Ant-Man 2 was like a palate cleanser, okay? It was like a palate cleanser. It was like drinking a nice, big, tall glass of beer, you know, after you had some wings. So, uh, which do I think is the weakest Phase 3 movie? Um, well, oh boy, that's actually a good question. Um... Man, let me go back and look here. I'm literally waiting on my ride to come. That's how I can answer these questions. That's who called that second time. Uh, let's see, Marvel Phase. Let's look at Phase Three here. Um, da -da 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 -da. Uh, that's probably not the best way to do it. Okay, um, boy. Man, I'm going to say, wow, probably out of this list, Guardians 2. Phase 3 apparently has, uh, well, let me double check to make sure this is correct. Yeah, I'm going to say Guardians 2 for me on that one. It's a good question, though. Phase three is Captain America Civil War, Doctor Strange, Guardians 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, Ant-Man and Walsh, Captain Marvel, then Endgame. So, see, I thought Endgame was, I thought we were in phase four. I thought Endgame represented phase four. Well, let's see, let's look at phase one. Let's make sure I got that right. Yeah, I got phase one right. So uh, let's see here. Phase one started in 2008 and ended in 2012. Uh, phase two. Yeah, phase two started with Iron Man 3 and ended with Ant-Man. So, so yeah. So yeah, true boy. I haven't had those phases wrong. Oh my god, I got my yeah, wow. Strongest phase, uh, strongest one, and uh, strongest movies are to me are The Winter Soldier, Black Panther, uh, Captain America: Civil War. So uh, those are your strong ones. Um, so Doctor Strange for me wasn't a big fan of his movie. Love the character. Yeah, I I enjoyed the character. 
Yeah, I thought the movie was just okay. It's like Captain Marvel. I thought Captain Marvel was okay. I didn't think it was great. I thought it was okay. You know, it was it was a phase one type movie, like Doctor Strange. It was a it was a story about her. What's up, Ghost of New Orleans? So uh, let's see here. You love the comics with Spider Man and Doctor Strange teaming up against Doom. You believe that would be the best way to introduce Fantastic Four? Um, okay, um, that's not bad, but that would they would have to. Man, that would be good. That would be good. In game is the start of phase four. Well, technically, uh, yeah, because that's why Iron Man. You hear four claims at the end. Of, at the very end of In Game, when the credits are rolling, the last thing you hear, I think, is it four claims with Iron Man, but uh, clanging on his suit. So, kind of a dedication to him. So. <laughs> So yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, you're, J you're right, GP JP Loco, and we finally saw them fight a battle that uh, nobody else could. Okay, that's what we saw in Endgame. We saw them, and that was the best way I can describe Endgame without spoiling it. I said, look, they they um they fought a battle that nobody else could. You know. I mean, go back in time and retrieve the stones and come back. I mean, it was good. It was a good movie. So uh, it was fun to watch. It's hard to watch, too, because you're seeing, and then even at Stark's funeral, when they're panning the entire MCU, that was tough to watch, too, because you, you're happy. I mean, look, you got to really understand. Let's look at it like this. Kevin Feige had to beg people just to come and read scripts. Beg people. Okay, look who he had in that movie when it panned through. Okay, you've had Anthony Hopkins. You've had Michael Douglas. You've got Evangeline Lilly. You've got Brie Larson. I mean, you've got Oscar winners. You had Mira Shah Ali, who's going to play Blade, win two Oscars and, and want to play Blade. So, I mean, that's how far it's come. So, uh, Ant-Man and Walsh, you thought was weak. See, I, I like Ant-Man and Walsh. So, uh, but again, it's, it's all, it, it is what it is. Uh, no, fi no Fantastic Four origin movies. Well, isn't the Fantastic Four, I think, on Disney Plus? It's either it, I think something was going on because Infinity War just got the Disney Plus last week. Um, it was on there last Friday, the twenty sixth. So, um, but um, I, I think and yeah, it's and Dark Phoenix is on. I, maybe it's on Hulu or it's it's somewhere where you can watch all the because uh, I just watched the um, first. Um, First class, X Men First Class, but I can't remember if it was on Hulu or Disney or Amazon. So, uh, the end of Endgame, you actually felt nothing when they did the thing for Stark. Oh well, and that's fine too. That's not the, that's fine. So, <laughs> Captain Marvel didn't live up to the, its potential. Kree Scrolls would have been in the way. Well, again, can we at least give them time to get the Captain Marvel movies going before we just jump two feet in? The Kree Scroll War is going to be dealt with probably in the next Captain Marvel movie, but she's going to be in charge of Sword, which is like Shield in outer space. So uh, let's give them time to build Phase Four, okay? So um, you know, which I, the which we were going to get a black the Black Widow movie was going to be wedged in, and it was going to be technically part of Phase Three because it's it cap the the uh, Black Widow movie timeline is happening right after Captain America: Civil War. So, so there's a chance we'll see Captain America again in in, in Natasha's movie. But the wait and see, though. Terrence Howard was the original War Machine, but they were forgotten. You're right, plus Ultra, and the reason why we did not get him again is because when Iron Man came out and made all that money, um. Robert Downey Jr. renegotiated his contract and money that was set aside for Terrence Howard, he took that money. And so they went with Don Cheadle. So 
That's the truth. That's what happened. So that that is what happened. Make sure that's not my neighbor up here. Not sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, about another five or ten minutes. So that's foul. Well, that's that's business. That's business. But that's why they went with Don Cheadle. So it, I always thought that Terrence Howard walked away from the role, but Don Cheadle did that role for two million dollars when I, in Iron Man Two, and then he just simply increased his salary as the movies went on. So that's the truth. He just that's what he did. So I think I, by the time he got done, Don Cheadle was making over seven million dollars a movie. So, um, yeah, he did. He, he did. Terrence Howard did do that. But again, you got to understand, Terrence Howard at the time, at the time of Iron Man's release, was a bigger star than Robert Downey Jr. I think Terrence Howard was just coming off of Crash. Hold on, let's see. Oh, no, I can't ask Alexa. So, <laughs> But I think Crash, he, Crash, I can't remember when the movie Crash came out, but um, Crash, they won Best Picture. He was in that movie. And he was nominated for Hustle and Flow, which he made with his own money. So, but he, he was nominated for an Oscar. It was not, it was nominated for best, was he, I think it was nominated for best picture. Was that, uh, yeah, he just did Hustle and Flow. Yeah, oh, okay, so that movie was visceral. I love Hustle and Flow. So still, I think one of the best, one of the top 50 movies I've ever seen. But, um, and I've seen a lot of movies. So, uh, but yeah, he was a bigger star. He thought he deserved more money. So this it is what it is. But they paid uh they paid, like I said, Don Cheadle two two million for his role in Iron Man 2. Then he was in Iron Man 3. Okay. Then he was in uh Age of Ultron. Okay, so it's not like he ain't been around. So <laughs> so yeah, Hustle and Flow had that song, but it's hard out here for a pimp. And people still say that. So, I mean, that's how poignant that movie was. So, but um, yeah. But guys, I am going to bounce off of here. My uh, um, my ride will be here shortly. Uh, let's see here. Um, so PS5 looks, it looks like Panda. <laughs> so games will define which platform is best. Yeah, well, we already know who's gonna have a better game. So, uh, I, get, I saw that, didn't see, get to see it. So, what is the game you hate the most, or type of game? Uh, the games I hate the most are first-person games that do not allow a third person. So, because I played those type of games back in the day, we had Doom, we had Duke Nukem. Uh, those games are all first-person. I forgot the name of that other one. Um, we had Doom, we had Duke Nukem, we had Unreal Tournament. All that was first person. Uh, Star Wars Dark Forces. Hey, there was a time on PC where first person was all we had. I just remember set playing those games. Like, man, I'm tired of playing these games. So, uh, I plan on finishing The Last of Us 2. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I should be done with The Last of I, I'm going to play a lot of The Last of Us 2 this evening. So I very well may beat it today. I'm at a... Um, I'm coming around the mountain. You can kind of feel the way the story is going. I'm coming around the mountain. So uh, you hate third person. That does not allow first person. Well, again, again, I it's not that I hate it. I just I played it so much back in the 90s. That's all we had. Okay. I mean, we had Duke Nukem. We had Doom. We had Unreal Tournament. Um, I can't think of the name of the other game that we had. It was an Xbox 360 launch game, I think. So <laughs> live stream it. Okay, I may live stream it. So um, let's see. It says you'll pay for it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, Quake. That was the name of the game, Game Aider. Thank Yeah, Quake. Yeah, Dark Forces. Wolfenstein. Yeah, we had all that stuff. So. And then, then we that's why I like the flight sim game, because I was playing the flight sim game since the 80s. So, yeah, it was Quake 4. That was the game I couldn't think of. Yeah. But again, Quake 4 was just a Doom game. That's, but again, it was first person. And, you know, we're, I was just tired of them. I'm like, all right, this is just like Doom. 
But Doom, again, was a big controversial game. I mean, you can uh, – they were running articles in newspapers about Doom. It was, everybody wanted to play it. So uh, so you pretty much had fighting games. You had some – you had term, turn-based games like XCOM and – all that kind of stuff. You had a lot of Sid Meier games that were turn-based games. Uh, that's what you had on PC. So it, this PC just kind of opened up. You know, one of the best games I played on, like I said, on 360 to this day is Oblivion. I remember going to a GameStop at, at the mall and getting Oblivion and hearing the guy talk about it. Like, you know, you can choose your what type of you can choose your race of character you choose what your character looks like you can play in first person you can play in third person and again they have they being bethesda it's like fallout fallout's got a third person and a first person okay and um so and so i play in third person all right i play in third because when they show the game when they show the game on uh tv in commercials it's in third person it's in third person so you know so yeah, <laughs> but um, but yeah. So I just that's um to me it's it's it was silly to play in first person all the time. But um, what about the point and click adventures? Yeah, yeah, point and click adventures. But again, that's I remember those back years ago. You have Oblivion on PS3. I think you can download Oblivion on a uh, PlayStation. Is it now? PS now? Um, Fallout 3. Yes, yeah, see, I didn't care about Fallout New Vegas. Um, Fallout 4 was kind of a combination of Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. Um, I want the PS5 with the disc. That's my preferred console. So, because I like physical media, and it's for, and there's no reason to. And if you don't get it, you, you're not going to be able to watch 4K videos. So uh, because, I mean, you'll be streaming it. You can stream 4K, but a stream 4K doesn't look as good as a hard disk. It just doesn't. So uh, PS Now only lets you download PS4 and PS2 games. I still can't download SOCOM. So I, I can't. I can't download SOCOM. I'm, and I'm, I'm pacing. I wonder when we're going to be able to get that. So. So Fallout New Vegas was the best one. Well, again, if 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 Fallout New Vegas was a throwback to Fallout One and Two, but I like Fallout Three. Fallout Three is one of my favorite games I've ever played. So, yeah, I'll pay seventy dollars for a game. I just because I don't, I always reserve my games, so I always make payments on them anyway. So I'll just go in there and I'll pay ten dollars to reserve it, then I'll come back two weeks later and pay thirty-five dollars, and I'll go back in there and pay uh I'll give me forty-five. So I'll go in there and pay another thirty. So I'm good. What's up, T3 Medias? So uh he just said that they just started playing the last of us remastered last night on his daughter's PS4. Well, enjoy it, brother. Enjoy it. It's a fun game. One of the best games this generation. Talking about the 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 last of us remaster yeah not the last of us part two which i enjoy the last of us part two as well I'm, I'm really liking it so so yeah i mean again Corey massey there's a theme like if you like fallout three and four you didn't like new vegas if you like new vegas you didn't like fallout three and four it's just kind of a it's kind of a it's funny to kind of see it going so uh, what's good john taku gaming how you doing so, but I am going to bounce out of here, guys. I do appreciate you joining me. So uh, it was fun. I did intro. I did uh, show my uh, flight stick that I opened up with. So I'll be getting used to that probably later on today. So a uh, shout out to everybody that came by, and uh, shout out to you guys. I appreciate the super chats. Uh, Rice Eater, you're the top donator for the super chat. So uh, definitely you. you you won that on my on my little dono wars. So, so yeah. But uh, shut, and go sub to T three Media's. He um he's putting in that work over there. He's putting in that good work over there. But yeah, I've been here a couple hours, guys. I'm gonna bounce out like a bad check. But uh, appreciate everybody being here. Yeah, I'll try to stream the last that was part two a little bit later on. Um, when sweet. So I don't know what time it'll be. Uh, you think the PS five controller will be out before the console? Um, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I hope not, because that's just gonna make everybody mad. So, uh, 
So you played Fallout in first person with Elder Scrolls in third. See, I've always played Elder Scrolls in third, um, even though Bethesda has come out and said that it's, it's supposed to be played in first person. So, but yeah. Now, when I do the cave stuff, you know, when you go into the caves and into the mines and stuff like that, I would switch it to first person. I would switch it to first person, which is cool. But all right, guys, I'm going to get on off here. I appreciate you coming. Appreciate you. Love you guys. Take it easy. Play the games. Peace out.